Mr. Arnold, three minutes. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm reminded of the film Groundhog Day, in which Phil Connors is doomed to repeat the same day over and over again, trapped in a never-ending cycle uh, where he experiences the 2nd of February time and time again until he finally learns his lesson and, as with any great romantic comedy, or at least good romantic comedy, I suppose, he finally learns his lesson, gets the girl, and he uh, is able to experience another day. That is comedy. Uh, this is reality, and the reality is that the Court of Auditors, for the 21st year in a row, has issued an adverse opinion on the legality and regularity of the payments underlying the accounts of the European Union, which, of course, would be a very serious thing indeed in accountancy circles if any business found that they had an adverse opinion on anything to do with their accounts at all, then it would be treated very, very seriously indeed by the authorities if that happened time and time again. The reality is that the error in the European Union budget is still at a level of 3.8% of the budget, which is far above, almost double, the 2% materiality threshold. And that is just, of course, uh, the errors that we know about. Uh, the reality is that we are not at a point where value for money is being properly assessed. And I think Commissioner Georgieva is absolutely right when she says that if there were a road to nowhere uh, but it had zero error, that wouldn't make it value for money. And I think what we've seen from this Court of Auditor report is example after example, whether it's the three and a half thousand euros on the panoramic spyglass, the 10,000 euro uh, donation to a church, the 4,000 euro mountain bike, uh, the building materials in Slo Slovakia uh, that were charged for six times the going rate, the 100,000 euros on dry stone walls with no link to EU expenditure. Uh, the reality is that there are a lot of, of things that are going on here which certainly do not in any way, shape or form provide value for money. Well, I would say normally that a report like this would put the European Union on notice to improve or to risk losing support. And I do believe that's what the Commissioner is genuinely trying to do. Uh, but this has happened over and over again now. We're on year 21, and I think this kind of thing isn't the only reason for Brexit, far from it, but it's part of the package. And the UK, you know, if, if this carries on, then the UK will not be the only country heading out of the exit door. Groundhog Day, well, it's romantic comedy. It's not exactly Shakespeare. But perhaps Shakespeare would be more appropriate. I'm thinking, of course, of the comedy of Amos.